Hey guys, we are here for a pretty quick lesson uh, for module four, lesson five. Uh, a lot of this, uh, the purpose of this lesson is sort of give you practice uh, taking shapes and um, partitioning them or separating them into equal parts. And uh, so I want you to spend most of the time actually doing that rather than um, watching me do it or listening to me talk about it. So I'm gonna go over it briefly. We're gonna talk a little bit about some of the vocabulary that we've been working on lately. And then I'll show you a couple of examples and send you on your way to work independently. So let's get started here with a screen share. I'm gonna be doing this on our whiteboard today. And before we even get started, I'm gonna go over a couple of those um, vocabulary words. So to partition, that means to like divide something up. So separate a shape into even parts in, in, in our purposes here. Um, so separate into, that's an O not an E equal parts, uh, equal parts. Each part of the whole is the same size. We know that, that uh, when working with fractions, that has to be true. And we know things like uh, a fraction is a part of a whole. Uh, and we know that we have, when we're writing a fraction, a numerator and a denominator. And I'm gonna write these like they're actual fraction with a line between them. So like a numerator is the top number. The denominator is that bottom number. And the bottom number is the um, number of parts in the total. And the top number is like the number you are using or referring to. So for example, uh, I'll draw a quick shape down here. If I have a, uh, let's see, rectangle, okay? And I'm going to partition that into uh, Let's see, eight, all right? So I have eight even sections, eight equal parts. And so I know that my denominator in this case would be eight because this whole has eight parts in it. And then if I were to, I don't know, use two of the par, three of the parts rather, then the number of shaded in parts is three. So I have shaded in three out of eight total things. If I were going to talk about the parts that are not shaded, I'd say five out of eight are not shaded because there are still eight parts in the whole and uh, there are just uh, five that are not shaded. Okay, so that's all review. That's all stuff we've talked about, but it's important and we're going to continue to talk about it. Today, we're going to do things like um, you're going to take a shape and divide it in half, for example. So you're going to have to do something like Let's get a different color here. Like separate it in half and say, oh, that's half. It might also ask you to separate it into fourths. So if it separates into fourths, then you would then separate it like that. And you've made four even parts here. Notice I can't take that line and put it you know, up here because that wouldn't be fair. That wouldn't be even. We wouldn't have equal parts in that case. And so you'll do it with shapes like, like that one. You, you might even do it with a rectangle or a square, like I just did a minute ago on the last page. And I don't know, you could maybe separate it in half this way. Separate, whoops. And then, ah, won't let me draw another line. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to try to draw a straight line on my own here, which as you know, can be challenging for me on this tablet. Kind of close, right? I separated that into fourths. Uh, I might even have to separate into eights, in which case I divide each of these parts up like that, right? Um, or you might even get a shape like a heart. Oh, it's not gonna be big enough. I thought I could make those bigger. Let's try one more. 
my all right i can't make it bigger i'm gonna have to try to draw hard on my own here and this could get interesting So I have a heart and it might, you might be asked to separate that in half, in which case you would draw a line right down the middle of the heart and you'd have equal parts, two equal parts. Now this one's tricky because I can't then say like, I can't do that to cut it in fourths because that part and that part aren't equal. They're not the same. So we can't do it that way. So some shapes can only be uh, divided up so many times. They, they might not be able to be um, separated into what you're trying to separate them into. And so that's what you're going to be working on. Remember that when you're dividing something up, um, especially if you're dividing it in this fashion. So like I have a rectangle and I'm going to be putting lines in like vertically, or if I was gonna be doing it horizontally, if I wanna separate it into one, two, three, four, five, seven parts, I would draw six lines. Um, if I was going to draw it into five parts, I'd draw four lines. You always draw one less line than the number of parts you're trying to do. And that's true if you're working on a line as well. So, you know, some of these problems will ask you to take this line and separate it into nine equal parts. Well, if you have to separate it into nine equal parts, that means you have to draw eight lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, I, I was kind of even with those, but you get the point. Um, I've taken my line and I've separated it into nine. So there's nine total parts. And then I might say that I used, I don't know, three sections of rope. So I've used three out of nine or three ninths. And so that's basically what your work's going to, to ask you to do today. Uh, and uh, it's a practice uh, with you dividing shapes up as, as well as you being able to look at a shape that's already been divided up and identify what fraction um, the fractional unit we're using or what fraction is represented. Uh, so uh, I trust that you guys uh, are developing a good understanding of this. Uh, you guys have been doing a great job in class. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, we're going to continue uh, working with fractions here for the next couple of weeks. So let's just keep building on the success we've had and continuing to uh, do quality work and give our best effort. Thanks, guys.